here at NGA, we believe that if you want to know where to go, you'll need a map, even in outer space. As the technology of man in space was developing, it became more and more apparent that our knowledge of the moon's surface as a possible landing site was not sufficient. So before we could take the first legendary steps on the moon, we needed more information about the environment. NGA Legacy Organizations, the Aeronautical Chart and Information Center, and later the Army Map Service measured details and mapped the moon for several projects that greatly contributed to multiple NASA missions. And one project was larger than life, or almost as large as the moon itself. Astronauts were put through multiple simulations in preparation for the Apollo 11 mission. NASA tapped the Army Map Service to build the Lunar Module Simulator to create a near-perfect illusion of landing and taking off from the moon. This simulator was painted using sophisticated airbrushing techniques. It covered 291 square feet, weighed 600 pounds, and included about 5,000 craters carved into the surface. Sunday, July 20th, 1969. Around the world, nearly a billion people watched this moment on television as the first man from Earth prepared to set foot upon the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The lunar mapping and simulator helped launch one of the most amazing accomplishments of the 20th century. It also shaped NGA into the agency it is today.